Good morning and welcome to our English 1 and English 2 Star Assembly. I am Mrs. Salvador and most of you know me as the 12th grade assistant principal. However, I have another important role here at Wisdom High School and that is supporting the English department. So that means I support the teachers and I also support students taking any English class here at Wisdom High School. Today's assembly, the purpose is to share with you reminders about our upcoming STAR test. So please listen carefully. These strategies are being presented for English 1 and 2, but you may also use them on any other STAR assessments. So we will go ahead and get started with these general reminders. Good morning, generals, and welcome to our ELA STAR assembly. Today's assembly is specifically for any student taking the English 1 or English 2 star this month or any students retaking the English 1 or English 2 star. There are other helpful hints for other star tests too, so listen closely. First, here are some general reminders. Here are the testing dates for star tests on our campus. Please be here and on time for testing days. Use your cell phone to set an alarm the morning of the test to ensure you get here on time. Set a reminder the night before on your cell phone to remind you to go to bed on time so you will be well rested the day of the test. Be sure to eat a good breakfast the morning of the test or come early enough to have breakfast in the cafeteria. For all ELA classes for writing, be sure to use arms and cups to revise and edit. The questions for writing will signal you on which one to use. Also remember to visualize as you read. Do periodic comprehension checks. Make sure you have understood what you read. Analyze the question. Be sure you know what the question is asking you. Answer the questions using textual evidence. For ELA, there will be a lot of reading, but your teachers have been building your stamina all year long. You have the endurance to start strong and to finish strong. When you feel yourself zoning out or dozing off or feel like you need a break, try this tip. Take deep breaths, especially when frustration starts to settle in. Deep breaths help cells carry more oxygen to the brain. This process calms the brain and increases alertness. Whenever you feel the need for a break, don't leave your test. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth about 10 times. Remember, as a testing policy from the state, each student must sign the cell phone policy. The cell phone policy requires you to turn in your cell phone during testing. You will get your cell phone back once there is an announcement that testing is over for the entire campus. This is a state rule that prevents cheating and plagiarism. Please be prepared to follow the policy once asked to turn in your cell phone. It helps ensure testing runs as the state rules tell us, but also it takes away one less distraction for you to worry about. Students that are in possession of a cell phone in a testing area will have consequences that may include Saturday detention, ATS, or your parent may have to come to pick up your cell phone. Now, Mr. Garza, our ELA teacher specialist, will give you specific technology tips to prepare for test day. You will need your charged laptop for this part of the assembly. Hello, Wisdom High School. My name is Mr. Garza, and we're going to be looking at some technology issues that we're seeing with our laptops. So, at this time, if you have a laptop, please pull it out from your backpack, put it on your desk, and log in, please. If for some reason your battery is low on charge and you need a charger, raise your hand. Students, if you see someone that has their hand raised and you have a charger, let them borrow it. OK, so I'm talking to students right now that have a broken screen. They've maybe even lost or their laptop was stolen. They have a broken charger or for some reason their laptop is not letting them connect to the Internet. 
What you need to do right now is go ahead, scan this QR code with your phone and fill out that form. That form will let Mr. Aguilar know in the IT department that he needs to come and fix your problem. Teachers, take a note of how many kids are scanning that QR code. These children do not need to be sent to IT. Mr. Aguilar will address these issues with the student individually. OK, step one and two of this project. We are going to need to update these programs because what is happening is they are blocking our testing browser from opening. So we need to adjust the settings in both Google Chrome and Microsoft Teams. Let's go ahead and open up a Google Chrome window. The settings in this program need to be changed to launch the test. All right, guys. So when you open up a Google Chrome tab or window, your screen should look something like this. What I want you to do is go ahead, click that three dots right here on the top right hand side. You're going to click those three dots right here. And once you click these three dots, this drop down menu should appear. I want you to click setting. Again, click the three dots, drop down menu, go to setting. All right, students, I want you to be a little bit nosy. I want you to check in on your neighbors. Check on the person to your right. Make sure they're able to do it. Check to the person to your left. If they need help, go ahead, help them out. But let's make sure everybody has this screen looking like this. Three dots, setting, excellent. Once you click that setting button, it should take you to this window. We are going to scroll all the way down until we see systems. Systems right here. Systems, it's on the bottom left hand side. Once we click systems, we want to make sure that this button is toggled off. The second one is blue, that's fine. The first one needs to be toggled off. So we'll go to systems and then make sure this one is toggled off. Again, I want you to do a quick check on your neighbors. Check to the person to the right of you. Make sure it's turned off. Check to the person to the left of you. If they need help, go ahead, help them out. If you need help, raise your hand. Teachers, at this time, walk around your room and make sure your students have the first button toggled off. Again, one more time, you're going to go to settings. First, you're gonna click those three dots. It's gonna take you to settings. And then you're gonna click systems. And then unclick this first one here. I'm gonna give you about 10 more seconds. Again, if you need help, raise your hand. And students, if you see somebody with their hand raised, help them out. All right, very good. So Google Chrome is updated. Google Chrome is now test ready. Let's go to our second platform that needs to be updated. And that is Microsoft Teams. So at this time, log on to Microsoft Teams. The settings in this program need to be changed to launch the test. If you need help finding your Microsoft Teams app, go ahead, raise your hand. Teachers, assist any student that has their hand raised.
All right. Once you are in Microsoft Teams, we're going to do something very similar to what we've done before in Google Chrome. We are going to click that three dot button at the top right hand side. You're going to click the three dots at the top right hand side. And when that happens, you are going to go ahead and click settings again. We're going to click settings again. So three dots, settings. This window should pop up. It's going to be the setting tab. If your screen looks like this, I want you to give your teacher a thumbs up. Teachers at this time, circulate your classroom and assist any student that does not have a thumbs up. Students, if your thumb is up and the person to your right of you does not have their thumbs up, help them out. Students, if the person to the left of you does not have their thumb up, help them out. In the setting tabs, we're going to stay in general and we're going to scroll down just a little bit. Do you see how this bar is pulled down just a little bit? We're going to scroll down and we're going to make sure auto start application, open application in the background, on close, keep the application running, and disable GPU hardware acceleration are all unclicked. Make sure there's none that are clicked in this section. Make sure all four of these items are unclicked. All right, students, I want you to be a nosy neighbor. Check in on your neighbor. Make sure that the first floor, sorry, the first four boxes are unclicked. Make sure your screen looks just like this. If you need help, go ahead and raise your hand. Students, if you see someone that has their hand raised and you can assist them, go ahead. We'll repeat this one more time. So in Microsoft Teams, you're going to click the three dots at the top right hand side. After you click the three dots, you're going to click settings. That should take you to this window. You're going to stay in general and you're going to scroll down just a little bit. And you're going to unclick the first four items. Very good. Microsoft Teams is updated and now is test ready. Congratulations. Your tech has been updated. The settings in these programs has been updated and will launch the test. Way to go. Our next step, step three, let's restart that laptop. So in order for our technology to stay updated, we need to make sure that we restart this laptop every now and again. What that's going to do is it's gonna allow your laptop to be restarted on the HISD network and it will update any software that needs to happen. So let's go ahead and click the Windows button at the bottom of your laptop. You're going to click power and then you're going to click restart. You're going to click power and then restart. So go ahead, click the Windows button at the very bottom left hand side of your laptop. Click power and then restart. Go ahead, let your laptop restart. We won't be using your laptop again, so let your laptop restart. It might take a minute. It might take four or five. So just give your laptop time to restart, and we will update all those systems when it launches back on. As your laptop is restarting, I want us to consider some of the tools that are available to us when we take this test. When you take the STAR test, there's updated 
tools that we can use. In recent tests, you probably used a paper dictionary. In this version, this online version, there is a digital dictionary that you can use. When you click dictionary up here, you can type the word that you want to know here. If you type the word incorrectly, you'll get an alert that says this word, the word you entered isn't in the dictionary. Showing dictionary search results for zero. So that means the word you're looking for is spelled incorrectly. OK. In the revision and editing sections, it is very important that you use this dictionary. It is very important. Some of those questions are asking you, is this word spelled correctly? What tool can you use to answer those questions? The dictionary tool. If you come across a word that you see multiple times in a text and you don't know what it is, take a couple of seconds and look it up. This dictionary tool is very powerful. In years past, it would take students minutes to look up a word, thumbing through pages over and over. This tool enables you to look up a word within seconds. So please be aware that you can use this dictionary tool at any time during your STAR test. It is very powerful and will probably help you get a lot of questions right. Don't forget, use the dictionary. Again, <laughs> I wanted to put this in there a second time. If you have laptop issues, you have a broken screen, your laptop is either lost or stolen, you have a broken charger, or your laptop's not connected to the internet, please scan this QR code and Mr. Aguilar will be able to assist you. All right, are you looking for some extra help? Are you looking at a way to practice on a platform? You've got two options here. You can scan the QR code right here, and that will take you to a practice exam. Or you can type out the URL underneath, tinyurl.com slash go star. Both the QR code and the tiny URL take you to the same page. If you'd like to get more comfortable with the technology we'll see on STAR test date for your Algebra, Biology, English 1, English 2, or U.S. History exam, you can take practice exams here. It's a great resource to use if you're feeling nervous. It's a great resource to use if you'd like some extra practice. So please take advantage of these two ways to access the practice exams. That's all I have for you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Go Generals. Thank you, Mr. Garza. As a final reminder, you can do this. You have been setting goals in class and working to beat your last star score or practice star score. Now is your time to reach your personal goal. For students that reach their goals or reach meets or masters level, the ELA leadership team will be hosting growth, meets, and masters parties during the school day in May to celebrate your hard work. There will be food and fun, and best of all, Principal Brantley is picking up the bill. More importantly, please remember that passing your STAR test is a graduation requirement. So show up on testing day, on time, use your strategies learned in class, use the online tools, and give each test your all. Wishing you well. Go Generals!